Hey guys, um, so I got a request to recreate the look from my um, applying rhinestones video, uh, this rainbow eye, and uh, today I'm gonna show you how I did this look. I actually took it from uh, JJX48 um, and uh, she in her turn took it from X Parkage. Um, I'm using almost all the products that Sarah use, used um, with just a few um, substitutions. <laughs> okay, mm. so let's begin. I have already put uh, soft ochre um, paint pot is my base and uh, now uh, for the lid color I'm using um, strawberry from Beauty from the Earth. Looks like this. So I'm applying it onto my lid. I'm applying it um, dry and patting on. Okay, so next I'm using uh, vanilla pigment uh, as my highlight color. Next I'm using uh, Fig One from MAC um, as my crease color. Okay, like this. Next, I'm using um, the Blueberry Pop Mineral from Beauty from the Earth with a pencil brush. And um, I'm applying it to the outer um, corner of my lower lid okay I'm using a wet wipe uh, to clean slightly my pencil brush uh, next I'm using Electric Eel from MAC and I'm placing it right next to the Blueberry Pop to the lower lid. Next color is uh, Green Apple from Beauty from the Earth. Check out their minerals if you haven't. It's beautyfromtheearth.com. I'll place link. Uh, I'll place the link over there. Okay, it goes right next to the electric eel. Like this. Then uh, I'm cleaning my brush and taking um, eye popping from MAC, which goes right next to the green apple. Oh. <laughs> like So when you're placing uh, every next color, uh, slightly meet, uh, blend the two colors where they meet. For example, now I'm placing the um, eye popping next to the green apple and I'm blending the place where they meet. Okay, next color is tangerine 
from the beauty from the earth which goes right into the tear duct and I'm also bringing it up to the strawberry color okay then I'm taking uh, lemon from the beauty from the earth bright green color and the lemon will go right where uh, fig one and vanilla meet Okay, so we're done with the minerals. Um, now you can totally uh, skip this step if you have um, um, if you have uh, not heavy crease. I will add um, just a little bit of carbon from Mac with a pencil brush right into my crease where tangerine meets the fig one. Very carefully. So this is what comes out before blending. Is the lighting good? Okay, uh, now I'm taking 224 from MAC. You can take any blending brush and blend everything together very lightly. Because, you know, this look is very... Um, So I've already done my brow, as you can see. Uh, now take any soft white pencil, mine is from 17 in Miracle White, and um, line your waterline with this white pencil. So now it's time for mascara. I'm using um, uh, Hypnos mascara from Lancome, but now it's dry and uh, the effect won't be that um, impressive as when it is fresh. Uh, now I'll use the Accent Red pigment from MAC as my blush. But be very careful because it's really very pigmented. Just lightly. This look doesn't require much blush. I think I applied too much. I'm gonna take my Kabuki brush from MAC and um, blend a little bit. Okay, now I'm gonna use my cream color base in pearl and uh, highlight a little bit my cheekbones. I really like the effect of uh, highlighting the cheekbones you become like a supermodel <laughs> from the magazine. Okay, now the final touch um, lip gloss. I will use the Dior Kiss Very Shimmery Lip Gloss number 8. You can use any nude or neutral color or maybe just a clear lip gloss.
because you have such colorful eyes you don't need mm, much color on your lips okay guys that's it the look is done and um, I hope you liked it uh, this is uh, not a difficult look as you can see uh, but it is very very bright and it's perfect for summer and uh, you will impress everybody <laughs> if you wear this look so you can see okay guys so hope you're doing okay and uh, hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching take care bye